Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Hello everyone, this is Guillermo speaking and today we are going to add our third person camera to the project. So make sure that you have imported uh, the Cinemachine package from the package manager as we did in the uh, previous video and from here what you need to do is click on your main camera then go to the components Cinemachine add a Cinemachine brain the next step will be to create a, uh, an empty game object let's call this one CM free look camera and after selecting the object let's go to component again uh, Cinemachine and select in this case Cinemachine free look okay now uh, this uh, virtual camera is asking us for a follow and a look at target transforms so for the follow we are going to select our main player game object and for the fall or for the look at we select here the uh, player camera look that we created and as you can see here in the game view uh, it's looking at the feet of the player so let's just increase the y-axis of the player camera look to let's say 1.5 and if we now we hit uh, play to test or control P shortcut we get now the camera looking and following our player okay so let's stop the play mode and click on the uh, free look camera component and you can see that the Cinemachine free look camera comes with uh, like 2000 uh, property settings to play with but let's just focus on a few of them because it can be a little daunting and you can spend hours tweaking these values so I will just go and follow along with me the first thing that we need to do is to change the binding mode from simple follow with wall up to wall space that will give us uh, the chance or the camera will not um, glitch with uh, the, the character rotation I will say and also it gives us this new recenter to target heading or heading that we are going to use later on but I will take it out uh, click it out now so you can we can see the what it does and here uh, we have the top rig middle rig and bottom rig so that's these are the rigs uh, as you can, we can see here in the uh, scene view I, I hope you can see it on the video uh, but it's, it's like a uh, small uh, rings in the top in the middle and in the bottom so uh, we can set here the height of each one I will set the top rig height to 3.5 and the radius to 4 then the middle ring or the middle rig sorry I will set uh, the height to 1.6 and the radius to 5 and lastly the bottom rig I will set the high to 0 point, 0 point, uh, 0.15 and the radius to 4 down below we have a specific settings for each of the rigs what I will do here is for each of those just remove the Y and Z damping I will set it to 0 on all of them because we want the movement between the rigs uh, to be uh, instant okay so if now we were to play again and if I move the mouse up and down we can see that how we transition between rigs and if I move horizontally We can see how it transitions also between the rigs all right 
and if I let go the mouse you can see how this uh, setting about recentering is working. There we go. Okay, so next what we want to do is change our uh, character movement script to let the camera or the player uh, the, the player to move in the direction the camera is facing okay so let's stop and open up our character movement script and in the first place what we want to do here uh, we are going to remove this uh, variable this model transform we don't need it anymore and if we scroll down uh, what is used is here in the handle rotation so we are just uh, we can comment this out or just uh, change it and what we need here is actually the transform of the game object so let's just type transform in both places okay and for the uh, uh, rotation of the of the the direction the move direction let's here be in between uh, this line let's add more space and this move direction that we are retrieving from the input uh, we want then to have the angle of the camera or the camera that is facing in the uh, up or y axis so for that we are going to use the quaternion no quality level quaternion angle axis and we want here the camera transform that we are caching here and from this transform we need to uh, fetch the rotation and then we need the, ang uh, the angle by using the Euler angles and only the Y axis okay and then it's asking us for uh, the vector three axis that we want so in this case of course is the vector three dot up and then we multiply this for the current uh, move direction again move direction after doing that we just normalize the value that we are receiving and we can go back to Unity and give it a test. Control P. And we start play mode. So now if I start moving, you can see now the player or the character is facing the direction the camera is looking. all right so now if we were to create a cube here to use it as an obstacle so let me put it here and resize it a little bit all right and uh, let's uh, go to the free look camera and i will untick the recenter to target hidden or heading and uh, let's hit Control P to start play mode. So if I were to go uh, the other side of, of the object, you will see that we lose uh, visibility of the player. So to avoid that, let me stop play mode. What we can do is go to this uh, field camera component and uh, below here we have add extensions so click on that one and select cinemachine collider that will add a new extension to this uh, uh, cinemachine free look camera view uh, component and from here what we can do is select uh, which objects we want the camera to uh, try to avoid 
the collision in order to ensure that we always keep the visibility of our player. So there are several uh, strategy patterns that it's using. For example, pull camera forward, preserve camera high or preserve camera distance. We need to select in this case, uh, or I like to select pull camera forward. And also to smooth this movement uh, when trying to uh, align again to, to, to have the player in view, we can increase here the damping and the damping when occluded to something like say two on both. And let's save the changes and click on play to test it out. So if we were to hide in the wall, you can see now the camera tries to align again to have the player visible. Okay. The next setting I want to cover is since we are using the new input system is if you take a look here again in the Cinema Symphony look, we have this button, Add Input Provider. Uh, this is visible only when you have, uh, it detects that the new input system is uh, installed. So click on that one. It will add another extension, I'll say, uh, at the bottom and automatically is selecting this uh, input action reference from no, I don't know from where, but what we need to do here is select in our data folder. We have the game input map that we created in previous video. So uh, from the game input map, expand the hierarchy and here we need to select the camera look. So drag and drop it in this uh, slot. And this will allow us to use the gamepad to control the camera. So once again, if we were to click on play, now I can use the gamepad to rotate the camera. I can see that uh, the axes are inverted. So that's something I need to fix now, but still uh, everything else still working as expected. Okay, so let's stop play mode go to the cinema machine, free look camera, and from here we need to click on Y axis to invert the Y axis and the X axis to remove the invert. So let me try once again. Up, down, right, left. Now it looks good. Okay, so one thing that also we can do now is uh, to hide the cursor when we enter play mode. So that can be done in, again, if we click on the player, camera movement script, let's open up the script. Once the script is open, let me just delete this line here, keep it uh, clean and we can scroll down and we are going to reuse uh, the on application focus function which comes with the mono behaviors so let's type public void on application focus and it's send, passing to us uh, whether the application had focus or not so we can just check here if focus then we set the cursor lock state to cursor lock mode locked otherwise we set it to none so cursor lock state none that's it so let's go back to unity let the script compile And let me play, change the play mode to maximize and control P to start play mode. And now, if I were to click inside the uh, game view, you see that 
the mouse disappears and I'm using the gamepad and everything works as expected so on the next video we start uh, covering now uh, Animancer component to create our animation state machines so uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching and supporting the channel